Welcome to Chris Cook for You too. Today, my daughter is going to be doing apple crisp. This is one of my favorite desserts, especially when I'm at Cheddar's, not trying to give them a plug, but she's very good with this dessert. So let's get started with the ingredients that you're going to need. You're going to need flour, and that's all-purpose flour. You're going to need brown sugar, cinnamon, granulated white sugar, apple cider, apples, and you're going to need vanilla extract. Now, that's what you're going to need for to put in the apples and to mix together the bottom layer of the apple crisp. Now, for the top layer or the crisp part of this, you're going to need flour again, brown sugar, cinnamon, a little bit of salt, oats, and that's old-fashioned oats, and some softened butter. Now, we're going to go away, get these apples all cut up, sliced up, and we're going to come back and show you how to put together this very simple dish, but very good dish. And you can serve this a la mode with some ice cream, and it would be fantastic. Be right back. Okay, now we're back and we're putting this together. And that's how your slices should be for the apples. It should be just not really thin, but kind of a one inch or maybe a half an inch slice. Okay, so once you get all of your apples sliced up and you get them in the bowl, then you're going to start to add your ingredients. First, you want to add your apple cider. Now, as always, your ingredients are going to be listed in the description box so that you can uh, have a very, very good idea of how you want to do this and the amount of apples and everything that you need. You're going to add in your granulated white sugar and then your brown sugar. You're going to add in your cinnamon, your flour, and of course that's all-purpose flour, and you're going to add in your vanilla extract. Now, once you've added all of your ingredients, you're going to kind of toss them with the spoon to make certain that everything is generously covered. Okay, you're going to set your oven at 350 degrees, and you're going to bake this out. Now, you're going to get your baking uh, dish, whatever it is that you're going to use, casserole dish, whatever, and you're going to butter it. You're going to grease the bottom of the pan so you would actually... Just butter it all over the bottom. And once you get get that done and you get all of your apples uh, covered with the ingredients that you put into the apples, then you're going to take and you're going to put that over into your baking dish. Now, that's just my oven going off to let me know that it's been preheated to the 350 degrees. This is a very good dish. I think that if you try it, you're truly going to enjoy it. And we use uh, Granny Smith apples. It calls for a lot of different type apples that you can use. But we found that this Granny Smith apple was the perfect apple for this particular dish. Now you're going to move in. Once you put all that together, you're going to move in your baking dish, your greased baking dish. And then you're going to add in all of your apples. And once you get all of your apples put in, you're going to sit it to the side. And then you're going to get ready to make your topping for this. So she's putting in the apples now. This is a quick dish, but it's a good one. You try it, you're going to love it. And then she's going to layer that out. And once she layer it out, then we're going to get ready to make the topping for that. So we'll be right back. Okay, now we're back and we're ready to make the topping. And just like the um, other ingredients were put in the description box, so will the topping be put in the description box. So you're going to add your oats to your bowl. 
And to your oats, you're going to add your all-purpose flour. You're going to add your brown sugar. You're going to add salt. Cinnamon. You're going to blend that up real good. And once you blend that up, then you're going to add your melted butter. So you want to um, melt that in the microwave. And as far as your apple dish goes, you want to do all of this right away. You don't want your apples to juice up. So once you have all of your ingredients put all over your apples, you want to pour them in the dish. You want to immediately make your crust topping or your crumb topping and then or crisp topping, whichever one you want to call it. And then you want to go ahead, add your butter, and then put it over the top and go ahead and bake it off. Now, I think it takes about 45 minutes in all in uh, for this to cook. I'm not actually, or to bake off, not actually sure. So that'll be listed into um, the description box with the rest of the ingredients. But you're going to um, mix that well. And make certain that your butter has uh, actually got on all of your crisp topping. Because that's what's going to actually make the crisp. And I'm telling you, don't knock it until you've tried it. If you have not tried this, you are truly going to enjoy this dish. Now, once you get everything all incorporated. And if you notice, she did that with a fork. And that's just so she can make certain that everything is actually touched with the butter so once you get that done then you want to take your dish and you want to add your topping to your dish now if you can see as evenly as you can lay your apples that's what you want to do then you want to go ahead and put on your topping now you want to make certain that you put it all over the top. And it has a gooey type taste to it. So when those apples are actually uh, being chewed and then the gooeyness of the crust or the crisp is on top of it, that is really, really good. And we're going to try this a la mode. So we'll be doing apple crisp and ice cream. And I'll show you a picture of it. But this is real good, real simple, easy to do, but yet very enjoyable. So make sure that your apples are as layered as they possibly can get. And then go ahead and put your crisp topping on it. Spread it out as good as you can get it. Then we're going to place it in the 350 de 50 degree oven. And we're going to bake this off. Now, like I said, it'll juice up into the oven. It'll juice up in the oven. You don't have to worry about that. But you don't want it to get real juicy. So, in other words, you don't want to just let it sit out before you put the crumb crust on it. Just go ahead and put your crisp on the top of it. And go ahead and put it in the oven. So we're going to put this in the oven and we're going to bake this off. And we'll be right back once it gets done. Be now right back. Now the apple crisp is ready. And she's going to take it out of the oven. And once she takes it out, we're going to allow this to cool 10-15 minutes. And then we're going to fix you up a plate. Look at how good that looks. And it's truly delicious. I'm telling you, if you got a thing for apples and you love something crunchy to go with it, try this apple crisp. I think you're truly going to love it. We'll be right back. Okay, now we're back. So we're going to go ahead and dish up some of this. And it came out really, really good. And if you look down in there, let me see if I can pull up something. See that? That's why I said go ahead and put it in the oven right away. Don't wait because you didn't want it to juice up. You just wanted it to thicken 
enough. See all of that? You just wanted it to thicken enough so that when you taste it, you get a good, good taste of it. So we have some ice cream here and we're going to go ahead and put down the ice cream as well. Okay. There you go. Okay, now we're adding just a little bit more ice cream to it. Okay, so there you have it. Apple crisp and ice cream. I think that if you try this, you are truly going to enjoy it. Uh, my daughter made it. I'm just happy to be sitting over here. So I ended the video. But we want you to stay safe. And as always, thank you for watching. Chris Cook for you too. Bye. Please follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Chris Cook for you too. And don't forget to share this video. Bye.